Hi, so today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial on natural looking makeup and I will be showing you the products I use and what their name is and everything and it should be very fun. Let's do this. So to begin, I use um, a concealer to cover my zits and it is e.l.f. Highlight and Eye Conceal and it's a dollar. So I get the lighter shades, so it's very easy. Um, I pin my hair back. There we go. And you take the skin colored side. And it's like a little dabber. And I just dab it where my problem areas are. Mostly my forehead. And it looks silly now, but you blend it in. I need a mirror. And before this, I prime my skin with a moisturizer and a makeup primer to make the makeup stay longer. Alright, so looks a little bit better. And then I use a um, foundation, a liquid foundation, and it's Fit Me. I actually don't like this one that much, but I just got it, so I've been using it. And it also has SPF in it, which is really good for your skin, so that's why I use it right now. It's because it's summertime and I don't want to get a sunburn. <laughs> So I take a very small amount and I dab it all over my face and with two fingers I put it all over try to blend it in as much as possible you don't want streaks you can bring it down underneath to blend it and there you go looks very simple and close that up and then I take a powder which is by CoverGirl it's the clean it has like the oil control in it it's very nice and I take my kabuki brush which is from CVS for like 10 bucks and you swirl it around and I kind of tap it a little bit and I just use a swirling motion Shine with my cheeks. And go all around. Sorry, my mirror's in the way. Oh, that's my phone going off. Alright, so just a nice way to get your skin looking very clear. So that's my normal routine. That's usually what I do. Um the other thing I like to do if I'm like trying to look more awake, which is most of the time, I take a, um, it's way lighter than my skin color, and it's a cream, it's, it's like a creamy blush, I don't know if you can see that, and I take it and I highlight the areas that I don't want to look too dark. So underneath my eyes, I'm like up to the arch, and same with the other side. And run around and then this is a kind of weird place but you take a little bit more and put right here and it just brightens up your face looks very nice and that was by L'Oreal and this was given to me and it's not my color and that's what I use for highlighting um, so now I take my eyeshadow which this is my all-time favorite eyeshadow ever I don't know if you can see it it's just beautiful it's called mink and it's about three dollars from CoverGirl at Target or something and I go through this about four times a year I use it so much so I take that and my favorite brush which is I don't know where I got it but it's called the smudge brush <laughs> smudge I don't know where I bought it I wish I knew because I use it all the time and I wish I could have another one but I don't know so you're just going to go find it <laughs> So I take this brush and I actually get it wet. I use water, so the water cup, and I dip it in my water, swirl it around, and I wipe it off to make it damp. When I make my eye brushes damp before I use them, is it kind of just makes it more, um, it adheres better, the color is more vibrant, it, it looks nice. Sorry, my nose is running. All right, so take this and you take it all the way over your eye, starting at the lash line, bring it up. To your crease, see how 
the crease is where you close your eyes where it gets that line. So you want to bring it to about there and a little bit higher. And a lot of people don't like to do this, but I do. I put it underneath. Bring underneath and then back around. And it's very light. I don't know if you can see that. It's very just pretty light color. And I go ahead and do the same with the other eye. Get it damp again. And I guess making it wet, it just makes it easier to control for me. I, I just like the way it looks better. There's my phone again. Probably my boyfriend trying to get a hold of me. Okay. So it doesn't have to be perfectly even, and this side is still drying, so it looks a little weird. But you want to have it like right above the crease. I don't know if you can see it just right there above the crease. And it's going to look very natural. Nice. And then I take... Um, this color, which is, it's called Beach Sand by Milani. I love it. It's the best highlighting color ever. And you take this brush, which is called an eyeshadow brush. As it's from CVS. It came in a pack. So it's kind of just a nice, big, fluffy brush. And you, and you don't get this one wet. This is for highlights. So you don't get it wet. And you just dab it in. And go ahead and start from the, underneath the brow and bring it to the inner eye and take whatever's left and bring it out and around so you're gonna out and around and then underneath it kinda just blends it makes it look nice and do the same with this side to the crease or the inside to highlight and you probably don't want to do this but I do because I, I love the highlighting effect I take some prior here you can't really see it on the camera, but in daylight, it looks very nice. It's a very subtle way to bring out your features. Um, so, it's kind of nice. So, this is the eyeshadow. Just, this is how I do it. Two steps. It's very easy. But sometimes I like to have a little bit more fun, and I like to take out my sparkles, which I have right here. It's actually a sample pack from Etsy, and it's called Sands of Time. It's in a little baggie. And you get your brush wet again. Alright, open up the little baggie. And you're going to get on the same smudge brush, I don't know if you can see the gold sparkles, it's very pretty, and you go over and just make it sparkly. And underneath. Can you see the small difference? Just gives it a little bit more shine. I like it. Easy to do. Do the same with this eye. And you're just going over the color, kind of just making it more shiny. You're not really altering the color. So very simple, just nice coloring. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's just easy and nice and best thing I know. <laughs> So now, um, before we do eyeliner or mascara, I like to do my eyebrows, and I do make my eyebrows darker with an eyebrow pencil, even though my hair is very light, because eyebrows define your face, and if you don't have defined eyebrows, you really don't have a defined face, and it's just not, I don't know, it's not the look I'm going for. So I take, this is um, Professional Brow Pencil by Rumel London, and it's in hazel. It's a very light color and it has a little brush on the end. It's dirty, ew. <laughs> I only use my makeup, so it's dirty for my stuff. <laughs> so you take your eyebrow pencil and you start at the beginning and make small strokes. And I put my pinky on my face to give me some balance. Pull it through, all the way down, and you can see a difference. I mean, it's not huge, but it, it really does help. Do the same thing with this eye. And eyebrows are not alike. They're never exactly alike. So one of them has a higher arch or one of them's lower. It doesn't matter because you're not symmetrical as a person. So it's okay to be a little unsymmetrical with your eyebrows. <laughs> so you take the brush that's on here and you and you loosen the color up a little bit. 
just blending it um, as you would with an eyeshadow. And there you go. Looks very nice. And then to set those, I used, oh my god. Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> um, um, I use a, it's an e.l.f. It's a clear gloss. And it's a dollar. Um, like all my other stuff, basically. And I use this side for the eyebrows, and I get some of this gel off. And I, and I just set my eyebrows with it. I don't use too much. I just kind of go lightly to keep them down and not all over the place. And a lot of people like to skip this step, but I, I stress to people that it's very important to have nice eyebrows. I just I think it's a good thing to have. It's an easy thing, and makes you look better, so I'm not.